Hi everyone, this is your host Prasha and welcome to Her STEM Stories episode number 49. Today is a super special episode because we are for the very first time talking about the moolah. Yes, the money. And our guest today, Lauren, actually is a negotiation specialist and she teaches women in technology to actually negotiate their salaries. Her clients have doubled and tripled their salaries in some cases. So this is a very interesting episode to learn more about how to handle your money at work. So keep listening. Welcome to Her STEM Story, a podcast about real women with extraordinary science, technology, engineering, and mathematics stories. In this show, we'll talk to some absolutely inspiring women and highlight some women-led organizations in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We'll learn more about their work, their struggles, and how they think we can close the gender gap in STEM professions. Keep listening to Get Inspired. Knowing your worth can be challenging for most women, but it's the most important thing that you can do to catapult your confidence and your career in the right direction. Our guest today, Lauren Hansen, is working passionately to bridge the wage gap in STEM fields with her company, Develop Her. Lauren is a techie herself. She's a keynote speaker, entrepreneur, and a fellow podcaster. I'm so excited to have her on the show. Let's talk to Lauren to learn more about her amazing STEM story. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. And thank you so much for taking the time. I am so excited to have you on the show. Likewise. I am a big fan of your show as well. (laughs) So tell us, what is Developer? I found Developer is a career development platform for women in tech developed by an actual woman in tech myself, which is me. Mm -hmm. And I found a developer to help women learn to negotiate, finally negotiate for the salaries that they're worth. Because so many of us are underpaid. And that that was me too. I was underpaid Mm -hmm. and went out and got change. And I said, someone needs to do something about this. And Mm -hmm. I realized I'm someone. And so I turned around and said, follow me, let me show the way. And that's where developer was born. And it's turned into so much more, you know, I launched with a podcast. Mm -hmm. Now I have a blog, I have a membership where women come together uh, to, uh, to support each other um, and learn and grow together and build their value and build their confidence so they can go out and negotiate for more Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also support each other and learn from me on how to negotiate for the salaries they deserve. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And that's something that is definitely the, the need of the hour because, you know, it's easy to put a quote on Twitter or put a, you know, just a message on Twitter that we need equality and, you know, we should have equal pay and equal wages and you should know your worth. But I think the, the missing piece is exactly what you're doing, whereas how, you know, how to do this and how to be confident to ask for money, especially when women have such a uh, weird relationship with money. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And that was me. That was me (laughs) five years ago. I mean, and part of my story is I had uh, worked really hard. Actually, I'm a nutrition number from STEM. So I got into STEM early, early on uh, Mm -hmm. as a freshman in high school. I pursued a STEM degrees at undergrad and then I left STEM. I had some really unimpressive college internships at left me going, I don't think STEM's for me. So I took a seven year break. And at at the end of seven years, my younger sister was taking an iPhone development course and I was helping her debug her program. Mm. And I didn't know any of the language. I mean, when I was in undergrad, the, uh, not only did the iPhone not exist, the razor didn't exist. I mean, that's how far back we go. Mm -hmm. And I'm helping her to bug and I'm really lighting up and she's going, you need to get back into this. And so I did, but I had to start over at ground zero. Remember my tech skills were outdated. They were no longer relevant. I had no tech network to speak of, to like help me get my foot in the door. And I, I mean, I was, I was literally counting pennies out of my purse to put gas in my car. I was dead broke at the time. And within two, I got, I'm through a number of steps. I got my foot in the door, um, just barely at like an internship level. And within two years of getting my foot in the door at like rock bottom level, Mm -hmm. I had won the company wide award four times. 
<laughs> I had had my work featured in an Apple keynote. Uh, I did iOS work. So that was like Mecca for anyone who did iOS work. And I had been one of only a hundred innovators invited to the UK G8 Innovation Summit to present ideas on how to bridge the global STEM gap to the United Nations. Well, wow. but uh, Oh, yeah. Wow. It was what I was thinking. I'm thinking, finally, I'm going to get paid well. And I got that from London. And that same month that I got back, I mean, I'm feeling like I'm top of the world. Mm. And one of my male colleagues pulled me aside and he was several years junior to me. He had, he was someone whose work I was managing. I was training him. I was, I was really fixing his code left and right. And he pulled me aside and he privately complained to me about how difficult it was for him to live on a certain salary. And he named a number and it, yeah. <laughs> and it was like a sucker punch in the stomach because not only was he making exactly what I was making at the time, I remind you, I was training him and I was mm -hmm. managing his work, but he had been hired at 50%, five zero, 50 percent more than me when I was at his level. Hmm. And that was my wake up call because hmm. up until that point, I'd had that like little voice in my head going like, well, Lauren, you know, you're underpaid, but there hmm. was like that squeaky voice going, well, maybe you're wrong and doubting myself. And I kept thinking, well, mm -hmm. when I, when I'm there, then I'll get paid. And that's what they told me. They said, when you're there, you'll get paid. You're just not there yet. And I bought it hook, line and sinker. Yeah. And, and when I speak, women are like, yeah, I've been told that too. And I'm like, yep, that was me. Yeah. Until I got hit with the hard, solid truth that yes, I was underpaid. And so I'll be honest, I got mad for a little bit mm. and for, I, I gave myself like a period to be mad. And then I was like, nope, I'm turning this anger and I am channeling it into action. And I easily invested seven to $10,000 in personal coaches, resources, training, and through a lot of learning through the school of hard knocks, how not to do things. Within two years, I tripled my salary. Wow. And, oh, it, I didn't just triple my salary, but that delta, like that additional money that I was earning mm. was a, is six figures. That's a six-figure amount. And that's not six figures that like I just earned one time. That's mm. six figures that I earn year after year after year. And my salary's even gone up since then. Mm. So like if you, if the, over 10 years without even interest or compounding, Mm. That's over a million dollars that yeah. I made on a single investment in learning to negotiate. And I got this incredible transformation for myself. And then I'm talking to all these other women and I'm, you know, who are going, yeah, I'm underpaid too. I feel stuck. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. I feel hopeless. Like, mm. what do I do? And then I see all these companies talking about let's bridge the gender pay gap, but they're not actually doing anything. Yeah. I said, someone needs to do something about it. And I, and I was thinking this through and I go, wait a second, I'm someone, I'm not like, I'm no different than you. I'm just an ordinary woman in tech, but I figured it out. And that's why I found a developer. Um, and I work full time to this day. In fact, I work the full day today, uh, mm -hmm. writing code. Um, I do application development and I'm a principal member of the security team at a Bay Area FinTech. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm just like everyone else and I'm going, follow me let me show you the way. And I found a developer because I believe I can do something different mm -hmm. and I've made it not only affordable, but accessible for women. So you don't have to go to an on-site training. You don't have to be, I'm based out of Dallas. You don't have to come to Dallas. You can mm -hmm. do this for wherever you are in the world. Mm -hmm. And it, it's affordable. This isn't break the bank thousands of dollars. This is less than $500 investment in yourself. And you can change your life in ways that you can never imagine. Yeah. And the women, and I just launched this last year. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> you just I was, started. I was not even, I knew that this framework worked, but I was not prepared for how incredible the results would be for other women. Because I mean, it took me two years to get the six figure result. Women had gone out. I think the lowest, the lowest reported increase that I have heard is 25%. Wow. <laughs> 25%. Women are coming back when they give me dollar amounts. Some people give me percentage. Some people give me dollar amounts. I've heard 25%. I've heard 30%. When I get dollar amounts, I have heard 25,000. I had heard 30. Then I got a $65,000 increase and I got an $80,000 increase from women. 
coming back in this wow. single negotiation. And I was like, uh, I knew this worked, but <laughs> whoa. <laughs> That's incredible. So, um, uh, and again, I mean, just, I really want to talk more about just the success of it being so fast. And I think that's showing you the acceptance and the need for it, because I haven't come across anything that like this. Um, I'm sure you haven't come across anything like this, where people are actually spending time, um, you know, very focused, very, um, you know, uh, focused towards the, the women in tech, women STEM group, um, and kind of built by someone who has actually, uh, you know, gone through the, the the industry and is in the industry. I guess you understand a lot of stuff that, you know, someone from the outside may not understand. Um, and, and, you know, I really want to talk more about that. But before that, I really want to ask you one question that I always have um, is that what is that one big belief that, that stops people from knowing their worth, especially women? The one big belief or the action? I mean, in my sense, in my, the way I look at it, I feel like it's something that we really believe in that stops us. But if, if, in, if it means an action, it, you know, whatever, that, so the one big I, thing. So let me, let me answer it this way. I think the number one thing holding women back mm -hmm. to truly earning what they're worth is their mindset. Mm -hmm. They're focused on, it's a consumption mindset mm -hmm. versus an investor mindset. And I used to be like that where I said, Ooh, I mean, I remember the first investment I made was like several thousand dollars. And I said, Oh, I don't know if I want to spend several thousand dollars. Well, yeah. that several, like a $2,000 investment got me a $20,000 raise within less than a month. And so in my mind, I was spending $2,000 and that was $2,000 that I couldn't spend on something else. Mm -hmm. Now, the mindset that I have today is an investor mindset where I don't look at the invest. I don't see, I don't see it as an ex expense. I see it as an investment mm -hmm. and I don't look at how large is the investment. I look at what's my expected return. So mm -hmm. let me, so the way I looked at it originally was I'm investing $2,000. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me give an example with just my course. It's a $500 course, $497 course. Mm -hmm. the, the women who continue to be underpaid, look at it and go, I don't have $497 that I can spend right now. Mm -hmm. The women who are getting incredible change have asked themselves a different question. Mm -hmm. They have said, what return do I expect to get mm -hmm. for that $500 investment? And mm -hmm. the, and when they go, if I at least get the $500 back, yeah, then I have made a hundred and I, and then I make that $500 next year and the year after and the year after I just invested $500 that I got back mm -hmm. and I created $500 that pays me $500 every year in perpetuity. Mm. And so it's the rate of return. So another way to look at it, think, think about like just a small return. Even if you got a $5,000 raise, which is women, mm -hmm. I have not heard of something that low with my course. Mm -hmm. If I invest $500 and I get $5,000 raise, mm -hmm. I just printed $4,500 in free money. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't just get $4,500. That $500 also gets me $5,000 every single year after, because when you go the, your income mm -hmm. builds on yourself. Mm. And so if I go in and say I'm making $50,000 mm -hmm. and then I go in and I negotiate for $55,000, I get mm. immediately, I, I get a return of 4,500. That is a nine times return. Yeah. Right. Who, I mean, who wouldn't want that? I mean, if I did that for the stock market, other investors would all be pouring their money. In. Yeah. Yeah. But, think, yeah. But, but, but then when you go to your next job or you get a raise, they don't make a raise off of $50,000. They make the raise off of 55. Yeah. When you go into your next job mm -hmm. and you're looking for a bump, you don't make it off of 50, you make it off of 55. So you're mm -hmm. making that. So a $5,000, if you only get a $5,000 raise, mm -hmm. that's $60,000 over 12 years, yeah. if not without interest. And so that's the, that is what is holding women 
back from really earning what they're worth. That's the difference between women who are stuck Mm -hmm. and women who are truly going out and embracing all that's possible for themselves is they're not going, I don't have $500 to spend. They're going, I can't afford to not invest this Mm -hmm. because I am going to get such dramatic changes to continue to pay me over time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was the critical shift for me. And I'm such a believer in investing in yourself. I invest at least 10% of my income in myself every year every year without, and I'm making a lot of money now. So I'm putting Mm -hmm. some hard, solid cash on the table. Mm -hmm. Best decision I've ever made because I am reaping the benefits from it. Yes. Yes. And I think that's just something um, that, you know, we, after, after we graduate school, um, if we stop investing in ourselves, um, you know, before that we're paying hundreds and thousands of dollars to schools and colleges and, you know, and, and after that, we're like, oh, we know everything. Now we don't need to learn anything anymore. Um, and, you know, we kind of get into that mindset where we don't realize that, um, you know, there's more to life than just paying the bills. And, you know, there's something like developing yourself and learning new things. And, um, and you know, I'm sure, you know, as a part of your course, you know, it's a lot more about, you know, how to get that confidence and how to build some of these skills, with, which will give you the power to actually negotiate. Because I think women already have you know, a high rate of imposter syndrome than, than, than their male counterparts. Um, and then on top of that, no, some people think that confidence is just, you know, a, a personality trait, which is, you, you know, know, where confidence crap. comes from, it comes from peeling back the curtain and actually looking at the hard numbers. And yeah. so many women go, I doubt it. And then I go, I show them exactly the resources where I pull my numbers mm-hmm. from and they look at the numbers they're like, Oh my God. And I, I show them numbers of what people with their title are paid oftentimes at their exact company. And they're just blown away going, I can't believe that people at my company are making that much money. Mm-hmm. And that's the hard wake up call that they need that they're like, I'm not being unreasonable by asking this. People are actually paying this much. And that's where the confidence comes from. And that's the first step yeah. that I teach women in the framework is ground yourself in data. Mm-hmm. That's what we do as STEM women is yeah. we use data day in and day out. And that's the approach I teach women to use as the foundation to building a successful negotiation is ground yourself in data. And I, I didn't just say ground yourself in data. I peel back that curtain and I've done all the research for them and have, I've pulled the guides. I've pulled the databases. Mm-hmm. I've pulled the calculators and I have them in a resource guide for them to just point and click on and look at how much they should be paid. And it's been life changing for these women because mm-hmm. That's where the confidence come from is realizing mm-hmm. they're not crazy. Mm. That because someone said, well, you're not there yet. They've believed them and yeah. given them power. Yeah. And I know because that was me. Yeah. And then when I actually saw how much someone was paid, like that pay slip, I was like, I was flabbergasted. I was like, I couldn't believe I'd been beating myself up all those years. Yeah. And, and yeah. it, it kind of takes a toll on you, right? Because women try harder than men. They, they try to, you know, again, that number, they're chasing that number. They don't know how others are paid. And uh, it's just, it just kind of, you know, transpires in all parts of your life, you know, gets you, um, gets you feeling like the career is not fulfilling. And next thing you know, you drop out of STEM, <laughs> right? I mean, it's, it's all connected. Yeah, it's, it's pervasive fun. to health. Yeah. Like, I, I gained a lot of weight when I was underpaid. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it goes to sleep. It goes to, um, it goes to taking care of yourself. It goes to relationships with your loved ones, yep. with your friends. Yep. And I went out to change. I went out to earn just a little bit. I mean, I was hoping to earn $20,000 more. I ended up with over six figures more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, ho- I just wanted to earn more money. I just wanted to not be so underpaid and not be like literally hoarding money. I was yeah. hoarding money. I was so just terrified, fear yeah. of not yeah. having enough. And, and people think that, you know, it, uh, you know, money has a really bad reputation, uh, in, in, you know, pop culture or just showing that, oh, the women who are too rich are like, you know, snobby and bitchy and, you know, vamp style. And, you know, that that's just the media portrayal of, you know, too much money. And you will, he, you must have heard the sentence. Oh, oh, I don't want too much money, you know? Uh, and it's more so 
creates a, a negative you know effect for money but money is really powerful and it's we all need it and you know it it does make life better and it's it's a very good tool to to do things that you like and also to kind of give back to the community give back to the world and and kind of become a more uh, more um well i will help you out so you <laughs> hit the nail on the head money is a tool neither good nor bad its worth is based on the user and i'll give you an example yeah. i went out and I transformed my life and I transformed my income and now I'm top paid woman tech and I have a lot more income. Mm -hmm. You know what I did? Developer, I do not have an investor. I do not have a company funding me. I have turned around and taken my entire personal savings mm -hmm. to build the brand, to build the podcast, to build the course. And let me tell you, it's not cheap. But mm -hmm. I took what I had earned and I put that to work for good. And I believe, and it's an investment on my part. It's a, and I'm still going through the mindset of, is this an expense or it's an investment in a different realm because it's a business venture. Yeah. But I also believe that I'm investing in something that's worthwhile and it's changing women's lives in ways that we couldn't imagine. Mm -hmm. But I believe that I can change society and the world for the better mm -hmm. um, with this investment. So money is not bad in that sense because I used it for good. It's a yeah. tool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and I think we all deserve abundance, right? I believe in that a lot, that abundance of everything, abundance of money, abundance of, you know, all the, all the great things that this life has to offer. So I think uh, it's still a very sensitive topic to talk about, you know, when you're a woman and talking about money and it's Absolutely. wonderful. And it's wonderful to see what all you're doing. You're so passionate about it. Your passion just shines through. And, you know, I've had the pleasure to meet you in person. And, and it's, it's just uh, contagious. <laughs> well, that just makes me smile from ear to ear because that's what I want people to realize is I'm not, you know, a flashy snake oil salesman who I have an online course and buy it from me and then it doesn't mm -hmm. deliver. In fact, I over deliver and I hurt myself because I could, I, I, I probably could recoup the investment, but I'm so adamant about making this affordable and accessible that yeah. I am just putting it out there, believing, you know what, I put it out there. I am going to actually change. And I did, you know, it's been an incredible year. I launched about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And within a year, if you told me everything that would have happened last year, I want, I was featured in IEEE women in engineering magazine in a four page spread, which is like Mecca. Wow. For, for women in, for the electrical engineer in me. Mm -hmm. And then Google brought me in to speak to all of their women tech leaders um, at their tech makers summit in New York. And then this was just complete shock. I won the women in it awards, Silicon Valley diversity initiative of the year award. And I thought it was such a joke and long shot that like I was even nominated. So I was like, really me? <laughs> I wasn't even there in attendance. I was just like, I have to work. I can't afford to fly out there because I need to invest this money, not in going to an award show, but building more content to help and empower women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's that's incredible that's a fantastic year and you know i really hope that coming years are um you know even better and you you will you know achieve your full potential and kind of have help all the women in stem uh you know kind of get the money that they deserve it and especially bridge this gap that is so evident and um as we discussed nobody's doing anything about it so um we definitely need the uh, you know, you to lead the, lead the march on this. Thank <laughs> so, you. so tell us how can our listeners work with you and a little bit more where they can find you. And we'll include all the links in the episode notes as well. So perfect. Well, the number one resource is go to develop her mm -hmm. com. My, that's my website. And I have a number of free resources and, and resources to help women. So of course I started with my podcast and I have a number of features of leading women in tech where I talk about their careers and how they got to where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I even have interviews with women who are real developers who have gone out and negotiated for change. They, they, they became a member, they invested in the course and then they went out. So I interviewed Lisa. She's the most recent episode. Lisa got an $80,000 increase and she didn't just get one offer at $80,000 more 
she got multiple. In fact, I don't think she even took the highest offer. <laughs> that was <laughs> such a great position. So you can listen to those and they're all really short episodes, about 20 to 25 minutes long have blogs. And then the best starting point is I have a free webinar on my website um, on the very top of my uh, homepage. And it, it says, earn what you're worth, learn, learn how I tripled my salary. And that's an invitation to my free webinar where I walk women through my own personal story. So they know that, look, I'm not someone who's always paid like a top engineer. I was really underpaid, similar to the story I shared today, but even more details. And then I walk women through three negotiations. And when I give this live, I mean, there are moments where people are laughing. <laughs> it's just, it, it's a little bit entertaining, but I don't just entertain and show the negotiations. I dissect them into what I did. Mm -hmm. That enabled me to one, have the courage to make the first step to earning what I'm worth. And then I walk them through new, two negotiations where I negotiated up to offer $25,000 and $50,000 more. And mm -hmm. I break it down into the framework of what I did. Mm -hmm. And then for the women who, who want to go to the next level, mm -hmm. don't want to put in hours and hours of going out and having to figure this out on their own, I have an online course. Mm -hmm. And that is less than $500. It comes back with a money back guarantee. I'm so confident mm -hmm. that you will, the course will not only pay for itself, that mm -hmm. I, if it doesn't pay for itself, I give you a money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. And that is where I really peel back the curtain and I walk women step by step through exactly the resources that I use to mm -hmm. figure out how much I'm worth. Mm -hmm. or how much they're worth. I walk them through the formulas based on their personal situations, not yours or mine, but their personal situation to figure mm -hmm. out the three key numbers they need. Mm -hmm. I show them how to identify five key areas of leverage. And leverage is really important because leverage mm -hmm. information is where you're really able to lock in a deal and even secure premium offers. So I show here are the five areas, here are the questions that I use, here are the things I observe mm -hmm. to get at leverage. And then I walk them through how to prepare their talking points and walk them through the exact scripts that I use to handle some of the most difficult questions that they'll get. Mm. Like, how much do you want to make? Well, I have answers for that and yeah. how to handle that. And these are scripts that I have used successfully over time. Mm. And that's the number one thing women can do is be prepared and practice. Yeah. Not to do it on the fly, but to practice. And I show them not only what to say, but exactly what I say that has been successful. Mm. And so that they can put together their own masterful negotiation and handle that pushback yeah. in real time. Yeah. And that's incredible because I don't think anyone know, uh, I mean, in my short stint in STEM, which is five years so far, um, I haven't seen any kind of resources on the lines of what should you ask for? Or, you know, how do you answer that question of how much you're worth? And, uh, and, and, you know, what, why do you think you should be paid that much? And, you know, that that's just incredible. So um, I hope our listeners go and sign up because uh, you have, probably convinced me to sign up very soon. And oh, perfect. Well, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. And this is what I'm real. So 2018 was the year I was focused on really getting the course out there. Mm -hmm. I also have a monthly membership mm -hmm. and that is where the women who are earning $65,000, $80,000 more, they have also, they didn't just get the course, they got the membership. Mm -hmm. And that's to connect with myself on Slack. So I have a developer Slack Mm -hmm. uh, connect with myself, other women who have successfully gone through negotiations, who are going through negotiations or are preparing. Mm -hmm. And then we also have monthly group live Q and a calls. And that's mm -hmm. where I do group coaching mm -hmm. to help women not only get ready for the negotiations, but a lot of women may not be where they are in their career, where they're in a negotiation right now. And that's why women, they get the course in advance because the right time to learn to negotiate is when you're not needing to negotiate. You don't mm -hmm. want to wait the last minute. If you do, you, I can still help you, but mm -hmm. the best results happen when you prepare and learn the framework before you need it. Mm -hmm. But then the women join the monthly membership and it's only $49 a month. And everyone who's joined is like best decision I've ever made. This is just one hour a month that helps like put me ahead of my peers. And what we talk about and where I'm focused for 2019 
is how do you become even more valuable Mm. as a woman in STEM where you are right now? And I show that and I walk women through how do you, how do you have areas of focus for your career? Where do you need to focus? Okay. What are you doing to build your network? How do you build your confidence? How do you Mm. build your reputation? Yeah. What are you doing to, to, to build new skills? What are you doing to show those new skills off? And Mm. so I help women really figure out not only how to earn more money and negotiate for more money, but how do they develop themselves into the professional that commands more money. And Mm. that's where I meet every woman where they're at right now. Not every woman is in a negotiation or has a negotiation on the horizon, but every woman can be doing things actively. It's one hour every single month Mm. that they have to devote. And a lot of women, we're busy. I'm busy. Yeah. And it's hard to find time and you feel like, oh, there's so much I have to do. You keep saying, I'll do it because you don't know how much time or energy Mm. it'll take. I tell the woman, all you have to do is commit to one hour every month. And at the end of the call, I go, was this the best hour you have spent? And did you believe that what you got done in this call, did you, if you had done it on the outside, would you even have gotten it done? And the answer is no, I wouldn't because it felt like so much more than 10 minutes of work Mm. or an hour minute of work. Yet they move themselves along so quickly. That's where women are really seeing the difference. And that's where I'm really focused in 2019 is building out the content library for women in STEM so that they have the resources to go to the next level. Yeah. And that's incredible. That's awesome. I think that's definitely something that's missing and there's a lot of need for it. And, um, and, you know, I wish you best of luck and, um, I think I will be the first one to sign up if not. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and I'm again, very, very excited for your course before we let you go. I really want to know what's your favorite book. Ooh, that's easy. Uh, <laughs> I am a huge, as you know, I'm a huge Tony Robbins fan and mm-hmm. my favorite book, literally I, it's my favorite book that I bought multiple copies and didn't even realize it. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, no, I did. I, I just, I had bought multiple copies and I forgot I had multiple copies and I found them all over the place because I earmark them. Mm-hmm. Awaken the giant within. And it's all mm-hmm. about mindset. It's all about how you think, the questions you ask yourself, what you focus on. Mm -hmm. And that's where it comes back to like really what holds women back is the mindset. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm constantly working on all the time is where is my mindset? And Mm -hmm. in order to lead the way, I have to be focused on myself and be figuring out where do I need to grow? Mm -hmm. Um, And for me, that starts with my mindset. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And thank you so much, Lauren, for taking the time and uh, for sharing I mean, extremely valuable information and extremely powerful work that you're doing in truly empowering women um, in STEM careers and closing the wage gap, I think, is uh, step number zero in actually closing the gender gap, you know, because I don't think if we can't treat our women and men equally in existing work situations and existing frameworks, then how can we expect more women to join? How can we expect women to stay? So right. I, think, I think it's just, it's just, it's just of immense value. And uh, thank you again for being wonderful. <laughs> and, uh, and thank you for all the great work you're doing. Thank great. you for being thank- on the show. <laughs> oh, th- thank you for your commitment to serving women in STEM as well. I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're doing some amazing work as well. So thank you. Thank you. And we're just getting started, right? We're both just getting started. Oh, you haven't, you haven't seen anything yet. We are on our way. And you know what? Everyone is coming with us. That's, yes. the, that's the mantra is we're on our way and we're pulling everyone up with us. And that was Lauren with her incredible STEM story. Please use the links in the episode notes to learn more about Lauren and her incredible work. Next week, don't forget to tune in on Wednesday to learn more about where her STEM story is headed. Our episode number 50 is going to be um, the first time you'll hear from our team and also our plans for the future. So make sure to tune in next week. And if you don't follow us yet, please follow us on social media at Her STEM Story. Also, I've been very busy doing some speaking events. So if you have a STEM event coming, make sure to contact me at herstemstory at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening. See you again next week. Bye.